Hey guys. Hey guys, this is uh, Duli. So in this video, we are going to look at uh, four functions in C++ uh, that they essentially behave in uh, in the same way, uh, except that uh, their return values are different. So what these functions do, they take uh, a byte string and uh, uh, what they will try to do is see if that byte string is uh, some number, okay? And what they will do is try and convert that number to its value in the type that the function returns. So, uh, for example here, if we call the uh, string to float function with uh, this input value, what you're going to get is a double number with uh, with this value, with uh, 22. A double equals to 22.8. Uh, so this will do it for integers. This will do it for long, and this will do it for long, long. And you know, if you don't use uh, these types very often, and I'm one of those people. A long is essentially uh, a number that that's represented with uh, 32 bits, and uh, long long is 64. And so these are uh, really giant numbers that uh, an integer with 8 bits is not uh, is not able to represent. So I've initialized uh, some byte strings here uh, to play with. And I've also make some calls to these functions. Uh, as you can see, it's a lot of typing, and I don't want to put you through my slow typing. So let's look at these uh, these uh, byte strings a little bit. So you can see here I have uh, some floating point values, and looking at them a little bit closely, you can see I have some some space, some leading space, trailing space, signs, maybe let me put some space here. I have uh, strings that have uh, uh, words in them. Uh, this INF is uh, representing infinity and this NAN is just not a number. Infinity is uh, is that say for example if you decide to divide zero by some large number so that will give you a value that leads to infinity so you can re represent these kinds of numbers with uh, with uh, uh, the mathematical infinity in C++ not a number is uh, dividing zero by zero for example that's not a number. It's not something that we can represent uh, using uh, 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 any number of bits. So here I also have uh, 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 a byte string that's act that actually starts with uh, with a word. So let's see how these functions will behave using these types of things. And I do the same thing here for integers, and I do the same thing here for uh, longs. Now uh, I don't have to, we don't have to go and, and do the long uh, uh, examples because they're essentially going to be very similar to, uh, 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 to the other examples. So what I'm doing here is I'm calling uh, this function, this should give us doubles, and I'm calling these functions on these numbers and see how it will behave. So let's let's go ahead and run the program. And uh, as you can see, all of them were able to pick pick up the numbers uh, quite easily. Now the only issue that we have here, I'm guessing, you know, if you thought that uh, reading this would pick up 33 or 432. Uh, 432 less likely, let's say you were guessing, uh, you would say, you know, it probably read 33, but no, it will not. Uh, the fact that it's starting with a word 
uh, uh, sort of throws it off and it will return a zero and that's what's happening at the end there because that's what we're calling right here and you could have called uh, too long or or too to float and you would get uh, zero uh, actually to float might actually be uh, actually let me see it might actually be a uh, runtime error let's find out let's see I believe it's a runtime error. Let's find out. Yep. So don't do that because <laughs> it's not going to work. All right, guys. So this is uh, this video. We've looked at uh, four functions that behave very similarly uh, string to float, string to end, string to. Uh, long and string to long long uh, they behave very similarly uh, they will take in uh, byte strings um, that uh, have uh, uh, numerical values in them and try to pick up that numerical value if there are leading zeros or leading space and trailing space that will not deter the function in its mission and if there are words uh, after uh, uh, the numbers, uh, the function will just pick up that number and there's no problem there. But if you provide words before numbers appear, the function will either return zero or it will break. Integer, the integer function, the long function, and the, and the long long function will return zero whereas the float one will return nothing will actually break the program all right guys uh, subscribe if you want to see more of these videos uh, if you've got questions don't just throw them at me and please like the videos if uh, they are helping you all right thank you all see you next time